I feel like I had to sit with this one for a while, but let's talk about Founders Day. Founders Day tells the story of a small town that is shaken when a group of killings take place and that are all themed around a judge bringing quote-unquote justice to said small town and a mystery unravels. I wanted desperately to like this movie. I thought the premise for it was really solid. I thought the the character design of the judge as our antagonist looked awesome. And even some of the death sequences in this movie, awesome. But here is the thing is that there is no redeeming qualities to any characters within this town. William Russ is kind of the one kind of redeemable character in here. He is probably arguably the best part of this movie. But I feel like this movie overall is just kind of all over the place. And what I mean specifically is it, it feels like it can never pick the lane that it wants to be in. Like take the acting, for example. The acting across the board is passable. There are some performances in here that are so bad that they're funny. And then there are some in here that are just so bad that it is cringeworthy every time they're on screen. Jay's Bear Talk is a great example of this because every time that he is on screen, there is just a level of just overacting that is taking place. He is one of the worst performances in this movie, but yet there are, there's such an inconsistency from his performance throughout the course of this. Like, I don't know if the direction that the actors were given was to kind of be this very over-the-top kind of movie in the vein of The Room or Showgirls, but it definitely feels like that. And it definitely feels like there are major inconsistencies throughout the course of this in its tone. Bear Talk in particular is a really interesting performance to consider because some of his performance in here is actually not that bad and then some of it is just over the top and almost feels melodramatic almost to the equivalent of like a CW or a soap opera performance. Tyler James White is another performance in here that kind of just has that inconsistency to where he's really annoying for about 90% of the time that he's on screen. And he ends up somehow redeeming himself for like the last like 10 minutes of the movie. But even those last 10 minutes isn't enough to kind of save the inconsistencies throughout. Now, as a horror movie, there is not a whole lot to sink your teeth into, which was arguably my biggest frustration coming out of this movie like there's not a lot of bloodshed there's not a lot of uh, of gags but what i will say is one of the very few redeeming qualities of this movie is the fact that the gags that are here are very well done but those elements of the movie are separated by a literal ocean of melodrama and just dramatic political crap that you as the audience just don't really care about at some point this becomes somewhat of a political satire and i'm not even sure you could call it that but that's what it feels like and the politics of the internal characters feel like they get so much of the focus and this movie really just kind of loses its identity I keep coming back to the idea of the inconsistencies littered throughout this and the tone of this movie. It's not quite sure if it wants to be a drama, not quite sure if it wants to be a satire, not quite sure if it's a horror movie. And it kind of just takes a little bit of elements from everything in there. This movie also takes elements from Thanksgiving and Scream, and both of those movies did what this movie is trying to do immensely better. I think I'm ready to run this one through the Rorschach rating scale. And I am going to go ahead and give Founders Day a 1 out of 5. This movie has the potential to be one of the worst movies of this year. This movie offers very little. It is in need of a massive retrial because it has no idea what it wants to be. The actors seem to have no idea what type of movie they're acting in and what they're responding to. And on top of that, this movie could have been fun had it just had more blood, more gags, and more creativity from the horror aspect. 
But as it kind of continues to try and pursue the political satire, it ultimately ends up losing itself. If you guys have seen Founders Day, what did you guys think about it? Comment below and let me know, but let's talk about mental health. If you guys are new to our content, Mental Health Moment is where we take a theme of mental health out of the film which we're reviewing, talk about it for a few moments, and the host to deconstruct the stigma surrounding mental health. One of the very few things I think this film does right is it kind of does explore the character journey of grief and what that looks like. Throughout its near two-hour runtime, we get to grieve with several members of the town. And each demonstrate that we all grieve in our own way. And that's one of the biggest things that I walked away with this movie, especially involving the conversation of mental health is that grief is not a one size fits all it is a always developing and always evolving and very much like silly putty uh, it is always going to be something to someone else that it may not be to you and to the other person and that's okay because life is filled with tragedies and we're all different people and we're all going to respond to those tragedies completely different just because you don't grieve the way that someone else does doesn't necessarily mean that you're broken or vice versa. It just means that you are healing at your own pace and at your own uh, leisure. If you or someone you know is currently struggling with suicide, addiction, self-harm, or depression, click the links in the show notes below to check out our mental health resource library and more. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. Founders Day is now playing in theaters everywhere from Dark Scott Films. Hit that subscribe button below. Check out our mental health resource library, other movie reviews, podcasts, Patreon, and more. All of that is in the show notes below.